Florida Governor Rick Scott joins us now on the phone. Governor, we appreciate your time. We know you're very busy in the state of Florida, and we appreciate the time speaking to a national audience right now. For many in Florida, this is their first major hurricane. What's your biggest concern right now? Well, that's my biggest concern is that people don't know. Uh, my, big, my biggest concern today is if you're in a barrier island, if you're in a low-lying area, if you know your phones are flooding, uh, if you're in an evacuation area, you need to leave now. Don't wait. All of our evacuation um, roads are open. Um, we have fuel. We have plenty of fuel right now. Uh, so you need to get out and get to a safe place. We have shelters. You can go stay with friends. We have hotels around the state where you can get. We've got Airbnb doing free rooms. But you need to evacuate now. Don't wait. This is only 250 miles off our coast. It's coming here. It's going to be a Category 4. We have to prepare as if it's, we're going to have landfall. We're clearly going to have hurricane force winds. We're going to have storm surge. We're going to have unbelievable waves. I want everybody to be safe. My focus is, every, is protecting every life in this state. We have 20.6 million people. I want everybody to survive this. You know, Governor Scott, I was looking at an article from the Associated Press this morning, and one of your residents said this, the hype is going to be worse than the actual storm. I feel I can do quite well. This is a resident that's in an area that you're telling to evacuate. What's your message to somebody who might have that perspective still? Well, you know, I had, I'll give you a story. We had a uh, Category 1 um, what, about a month ago in the Panhandle, and there was a lady that just said the same thing. I've got four pets I'm not going to get out. The water got to we we're going to have storm surge. We had 10 foot of storm surge there. She waited until it was a foot and a half. She says, I'm not going to survive this. It actually got into her house to three and a half to four feet. When she evacuated, if there hadn't been a high water vehicle a couple of doors down, she would have died. So whether it's the 100 to 150 mile an hour wind, whether it's the six to, six, six to 10 foot, think about it, 10 feet of storm surge on top of that wave. Have you... You know, we got rip current. If you if you think about you're trying to survive that, and the higher you get, the more wind you're going to have. So this is going to be devastating. And whether it hits us directly or whether it skirts our coast, it's going to be a devastating storm, uh, a hurricane. That story really hits home for us as we continue to watch uh, some of the images coming from Miami Beach as the weather is getting worse there. Governor, I'm curious, where do you go during this storm? Where does your leadership team write out this weather? We have our, our state emergency operations centers in Tallahassee. We have a second one uh, a little west of, uh, of Jacksonville, if we need it, at our National Guard base, uh, Camp Landing. But I'll be tonight, I'll be in, uh, in the capital in Tallahassee. Now, today I'm in three locations. I was in uh, three different places on the East Coast yesterday, working to try to get everybody to evacuate that should and make sure we have the utilities. Get all their resources, they pre position all the resources. We're going to lose power. I mean, there's going to be millions of homes without power for a period of time. So I want all those assets pre positioned. We have pre positioned National Guard members. I've called up 2,500 National Guard members. I also have highway safety. I have DOT, Department of Transportation assets pre positioned in three spots around the state so we can get, we can do everything we can to keep everybody safe. But as soon as it happens, we go in and we try to restore lives and businesses uh, at home as fast as we can. And that seems to be something that we, we also need to discuss, not only just the storm, the immediate effect of the storm, but the days that follow. And I know you've, you've said repeatedly, you are going to lose power in Florida, period, end stop, and that your residents really need to prepare for that. I know leadership is something that everyone depends on as well. That's why I was curious about where you will ride out the storm, and it's interesting to hear that. Do you have what you need? You talked about the National Guard. Do you feel that you have all resources that you need right now? <laughs> We, we have a great National Guard. We've called them up. I've asked for a federal declaration of emergency. I have not heard back from the president yet. I was hoping to get that done. hope that that will get done this morning. Um, so I'm trying to make sure we have all the, uh, the federal assets we can um, have their support. I can tell you, we pre-positioned food, water. We pre-positioned high water vehicles. We pre-positioned National Guard members. Um, we're keeping our evacuation ramps open. Uh, what I tell every resident, though, so every resident that's in harm's way, Three days of food, three days of water, have a battery-powered radio, have backup batteries, keep your cell phone charged. You're going to lose power. When you lose power, you see your only chance for information might be your cell phone. Uh, make sure you have your medicine. 
I make sure you're ready. What's the worst case? The worst case, you don't have this issue. You're still prepared. If you do have this issue, I want your life to be safe. Well, that, that hits home for us, Governor. I know I've taken that to heart, too, whether or not my family has three days worth of all the things that you mentioned. It's good advice for the entire country. Just quickly before I let you go, you mentioned that the roads are clear for evacuation. Is there a time that you want everyone off the road today? Well, we'll be, as the storm's going to, if it follows the path as projected, it'll be, it'll be going or it'll change. You know, it looks like the biggest, the biggest impact, the first big impact is Palm Beach right now. If it doesn't, if it doesn't turn west and hit, hit uh, Fort Lauderdale or Miami, the first is going to be Palm Beach. So that's my first big concern. And so once it starts hitting, yeah, we'll want people to get off the road. And at that point, it's too late to evacuate. And we can't, once in the middle of the storm, I can't send first responders in to risk their lives to save yours. You made the decision to stay. So we will do everything we can to, to, to rescue you, but we can't do it in the middle of the storm. So. As it goes up the coast, you know, we'll want people to hunker down and stay in their homes. They made their decision. They'll have to ride it out. Well, the, the clock is ticking. Uh, Governor, thank you very much for the time. We appreciate it. We know how busy you are. Uh, we wish you the best of luck, and we'll be thinking of all of you in Florida. Thank you very much. All right. Pray for Florida. We will. Bye, thank you, Governor.